station on space to ground. The station's front porch got a new addition this week. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. NASA's Jeff Williams assisted with the installation of a new adapter on the Japanese Experiment Module's Exposed Facility. The device will hold up to two payloads that can be mounted by crew members. Access through the Japanese module's airlock, the exposed facility allows science experiments to be continually exposed to the open space environment. Current payloads include a device searching for signs of dark matter and another studying cloud and aerosol coverage on Earth. SpaceX 8 is ready to fly. The unmanned cargo craft is all set to launch from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station with almost 7,000 pounds of cargo. It'll carry equipment for dozens of experiments and beam. The expandable module is set to be attached to the station for testing. To prepare for its arrival, Jeff Williams conducted additional robotics training on the station as he'll be backing up ESA astronaut Tim Peake for the capture operations. Check out nasa.gov slash NTV for the latest times and tune in live. This week, Colton asked if we could turn on the station's ham radio. Well, if you have a ham radio of your own, there's a chance astronauts passing overhead could respond to your call. The station is equipped with a ham radio just like many amateur operators have here on planet Earth. Some crew members have made random, unscheduled voice contacts with their Earthbound counterparts, typically during a break in their day. The system has also been used to reach countless students around the world through the ARIS program, which celebrated its 1,000th contact last month. Check out ARIS.org to learn more. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.